just spotted Cheyenne Bay. We're gonna catch her off guard. Here with Cheyenne Bay, who's gonna be fighting next Saturday at UFC on ESPN 27 against Gloria DePaula. How you doing, Cheyenne? Good, good to see you back in Vegas. Yes, it feels very good to be back in Vegas. You know, I feel like I'm back in my home, so it feels good to be back. Yeah, all the way from the tough enough days, I remember, with Cheyenne Bellismus that we met, to now a professional fighter in the UFC. Congrats. Thank you. Um, and wow, even going back to Dana White Contender Series, what a splash you made that night. And seriously, uh, watching you progress from amateur to pro has been amazing. Thank you. Uh, you know, from Contender Series to now, I definitely feel like I've even grown more as an athlete. But, um, you know, I'm really excited for my next fight. I feel like my last fight, you guys didn't get to see the full Cheyenne base. But now I'm, I'm ready to go by next Saturday. I did want to touch on that last fight just a little bit. Um, to put kind of a bow on it, to me it had this feeling of if we were to put a title at the end, it would say, to be continued. Do you feel like at some point you'll probably cross paths one more time and, and settle that score? I'd love to slap the shit out of her. <laughs> I mean, you don't disrespect someone after a fight like that for no reason to. Um, you know, she, she obviously kind of had a little bit of karma over the weekend, I feel like. But... Um, We'll definitely see each other again. I mean, even after this fight, she can get it anytime, anywhere. So you, you've had a pretty extensive amateur career, and your pro career has been going off well, but people don't know that you've actually been doing this quite a while. Where do you feel like you're at in your career as far as a lot of fighters will say right around this time they're entering their prime. Other, others will say, I still have a little bit more work, but I'm almost there. Where do you feel like you're at? I still feel like I have a lot more work to do. Um, I definitely feel every fight I'm showing a little bit more of something, again, except for my last fight, but I feel with my training, and especially right now with this camp that I just had, I feel I I grew from one to 10 as an athlete, and I just, I'm really excited to display it. I'm really excited to just go out there and just have some fun this fight, and you know, just show everyone what I know I'm capable of. You're back here in Vegas, you know, kind of some of your old school coaches, and training partners, how does that rejuvenate you? How does that make you feel to kind of be in a familiar spot like this? To be back with my coaches and to make the walk with them, I, I told them when I came back here, I said I can be in the worst possible shape, but knowing I have them behind me, I feel unstoppable. They have, they have taught me so much. They took me under their wings since I was 20 years old here in Vegas. And to be back with them and to not have even made that walk with them for my UFC debut, I... I almost felt it was like a slap in the face to them because they were the coaches that put so much time and energy into me. And so, you know, I actually saw Eric Nixick in my locker room before I was fighting and, you know, he gave me a huge hug and he told me, go out there, kiddo, and do it. We do it. You, you do it that we all know you can do. And when I walked back to my corner, I was like, man, like in my heart, I felt like I love my team over at Dallas, but I felt in my heart that I wasn't on the right side, that I, I needed to go be with my people again. And for that reason alone, I having my people and having my men back in my life, it, it's been unbelievable. I, I can't even say how happy I am. And to fight happy compared to last time, you know, I went into my debut with a really bad injury where I needed surgery. And to come into this fight healthy and happy, I feel very dangerous. <laughs> Cheyenne, I want you to help me fill in the blanks because we met you as Cheyenne Willismus, young lady from uh, Florida, not even old enough to walk in the, around in the casino <laughs> yeah. uh, in, at the Orleans. And then we see you as a professional, you're more explosive, you're stronger, and then I used the word violent a second ago, but that's the only word I can think of. Like, you really come out to destroy. What changed during that time, you know, uh, from amateur days, 2014 ish? about seven years later now I feel I've always been violent and I feel like I've always had that meanness in me but I feel cage time I mean this is gonna be my 25th cage my 25th MMA fight so I feel like I'm just now able to show everyone what I know and what my coaches have known this whole time because if you see me in the gym you see I like to push the pace you see I like I like to scrap I like to fight I like to I like to stand I like to wrestle and I like to grapple. I feel like I can bring all attributes to the game, but at 26 years old now, I just turned 26, feeling a little old, but I'm feeling like I'm just now hitting to where I'm hitting my prime very soon. And I don't even feel like I'm in my prime yet. I mean, when I came back here to Vegas, 
just learning from Dennis and Ray and Eric again, I, I still feel like a child, but when it gets in that, when I get in the cage, it's just like, I really like to play the role as an entertainer. I don't care what happens as long as I go in there and I give it my all. In my last fight, I didn't get to show that. And so for that reason alone, this fight, I just want to go in there and just make myself proud more than anything and just be that, bring out that meanness in me and that violence and with all respect, of course, but, you know, I just, I just want someone to get bloodied up and I just want to, I want to go on there and just have fun. And, you know, today I even spoke to Gloria and I said, let's just go out there and just put on a show, man. We're back on the main card. I'm really happy about that because after that last fight, I never thought I was going to get a shot again on the main card. But man, seeing that today, 10 days out, I'm really excited to just go out there and just scrap, man. And just go in there and just, just get some blood on me and get some blood on her and just, just go. It's amazing to see your growth from tough enough amateur MMA to now you're going to be on Big ESPN in about 10 days. Congratulations. It's been a fun journey to see you rise like that. Thank you guys for following me this whole time. I mean, it's it's been very heartwarming being back here in Vegas. I've never felt more complete than I do now. Thank you. Thank you.